might be. It will end up being probably the number one bestseller, I venture to say, within a week. Because it was up to number three or four. Tremendous message, but he's left, think of the legacy he has left for his children. The impact and the lessons that those children will have. And so, I guess, I, it, to me it's just, one of the wonderful lessons that create magic that he talked about in his book was to have fun. And now, to, for those of you who know me, uh, I, that's one of my joys. I mean, I like to have a good time. Yeah, that's one of my core values is joy. And in two months, I've got been asked to speak at my high school reunion. And I said, uh, for 10 minutes. And uh, the last time I went was, see, for instance, they got everybody get up and talk about what they've been doing for the last 50 or 40 years. And uh, it was really boring, so I can't hardly wait for this opportunity. <laughs> And I called my, the class president, I said, what do you want me to do? He said, what's your objective? And he said, I want her to feel good when you're done. So then I, he said, you and Joanne Peterson are doing it. So I called, oh, actually, I, it was kind of interesting. I'm trying to figure out what to come up with on a material. So I hadn't talked to Joanne Peterson for 10 years. So I, I said, what's her number? It's not even Peterson anymore. So I think she got married, so she took another name, but I know it's Joanne. And I said, uh, so this woman answered. And I said, uh, Hello, and I said, is Joanne there? She says, this is Joanne. Joanne, this is Howard Britton. She said, well, well your voice is lower. And I said, well, so are my testicles. She <laughs> 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 said, <laughs> I said, the mummy and plus everything else. That gravity set in. But I said, and she started laughing. Understand, I went to high school in Salt Lake City, so uh, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go over. But I, I said to her, I said, I said, well, what are you doing? She said, well, I'm doing a memorial. I said, well, that's enlightening. And uh, I said, how many? She said, I got to put multiple faces on them because they're dying off it's faster than we can keep up with them. And I said, and I said, well, let's make sure you go first. <laughs> so because I remember the last year they, they did the memorial last, and everybody went from the reunion like this. Some of them were kind of looking around and saying, we're going to be next. So, uh, but, uh, so I said, well, that'll be the transition from memorials to having fun. I'll use the testicle line. And she started laughing. She said, well, you'll put some people into shock. I do know this. When I rely on it, and by the way, you're seeing it in action right now, is that I allow my child, if you will, to kind of kick in gear. Because what I did was I went back and I said, I wonder if I've matured at all. <laughs> 